www.ca. Kango Far found a found, uh, sorry the Kango Afar Foundation. It's a bit of a mouthful. I'm just Tongue covering twister. myself here. Yeah, uh, supports education for orphaned, vulnerable, and refugee children. And we'll talk more about the foundation with uh, well, how about this? The president of the foundation, Warren Kreitz, is here. How are you, Warren? I'm doing great. Good. What an opportunity for us to be on your show. Awesome. I think we'll need to get you to come on in just a little bit more. And I know you have the amazing uh, outfit on. Well, this uh, is a this is a big sword. I want people to see. So why why do you have that sword on you right now? Not yeah. that I'm, not that I'm not terrified or anything. But no. uh, what's what's well, this all about? Well, all Afar men, well, starting from adolescence, wear swords like this. Okay. And it's uh, I call it the Swiss Army knife of the Afar tribe. But they they they're herdsmen and, okay. and herds people, and they they use this sword for. A, a daily tool. Yeah, just a well, way of life. Well, well, it's a. Uh, they use it to slaughter their animals, carve their meat, and and chop down trees, and it, it, it's a huge machete, really. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, tell us about the Afar organization and how that started. How did you get involved? I got involved probably 20 years ago. Uh, I'm a lawyer. I do advocacy work and and human rights and immigration work. So, I represented probably 20 of them. Uh, as individual refugee claimants coming from Eritrea or Djibouti coming to Canada. And I got the rare opportunity in my life to be invited and go there. So I went there, I've now been 11 times, but I went there the first time wow. nine years wow. ago. And uh, we started the foundation by getting people involved in, in the community to support and, and provide uh, funds for the projects we were working on with our local partners over there. Okay, and also with you here today is uh, Aisha Kasim. Hello, good morning. Hi, Hello, thanks how for are coming. you? So, what, why thanks are you making food here? What's going on? I'm, I'm making um, um, sauces okay. with goat meat and potato, onion, garlic, um, uh, car uh, cardamom. Amazing. Uh, it smells great in here as well. Uh, so, uh, and tell us, uh, you've got an event coming up that is going to be funding uh, your, your, your organization. When is this event, Warren? It's this coming Sunday. This will be our ninth annual doing so. We raise between fifty and hundred thousand dollars at this event to fund the projects that we're sponsoring in the Afar region. So the Afar region is a huge triangle, part of Eritrea, part of Djibouti, and part of Ethiopia. About 3.5 million people live in that area and they're still largely nomadic and they need a lot of help. Education, particularly for young girls, uh, clean water. Uh, we've done advocacy work for the refugee movement over there. Um, we've uh, deployed medical expertise, medical supplies to a maternity hospital that's saving lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a pretty exciting place to go. Uh, that's why I've been 11 times. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Now, I was just going to say, what type of, um, with, with, your, or with the fundraisers and that you're going to be hosting, where is it located and, and what type of an event is, is it? Or do you have is it other things that are at the event? Or? Well, we'll probably have 300 people who will okay. attend. Uh, we have it at the Centurion Center mm -hmm. on Colonnade Road who donates the center to oh, us. Wow. So we so don't have to lovely. rent that. The people's uh, contributions will go directly in our projects. Uh, we'll have Afar men and women like Aisha uh, mm -hmm. They're cooking. They cook all the food oh, for, wow. for the people that come. Uh, they dance. They provide music, sword right. dancing. It's very, uh, it's a very culturally entertaining evening. And what's mm -hmm. the traditional meal that typically is made? Now I understand she's making some sausage. You said uh, right? we make usually uh, bread. The bread, okay. And this mm -hmm. is made of flour and uh, blé. Awesome. Tea, and this can is I give that a taste? Do you yeah, mind yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I'm you can like eat with segments. the yogurt. Mm -hmm. That's yogurt. Mm. Just take the whole piece, Tammy. I know, I'm trying to be... You I'll might double in size, though. Just that's a warning. <laughs> um, so, Warren, how <laughs> well, long... Had, so, you've been the president. Of, did you create this organization? Yeah, yeah myself and one other, mm -hmm. Ahmed Youssef. Uh, the two of us went the first trip. Uh, and we wrote a very long list of what the needs... Uh, we did a needs assessment, you would call it. We met with local possible partners. Uh, we entered a memorandum of understandings with these local partners, came back, uh, set up a board of directors, got charitable status, and now uh, we do this. This is, as I said, uh, our ninth annual fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And um, well, this year there's a very bad drought in that area. It's probably okay. the worst drought in 50 years taking place in the northeast corner of Ethiopia. I was there in November, and I saw the effects of this drought. It's very deep. It's very protracted. And so uh, there's a great. Oh, yeah, you can try. <laughs> yeah, sorry, oh, yeah. try it. Oh, sorry. We will try, try it, I promise. There's a great need there now yeah. because of the drought. And uh, 
all the funds that we raise on Sunday will be will go towards drought relief. So then, what came first, your trip or your thought of, of <laughs> wanting is, to organize? This, this is this a foundation. very good question. I mean, I I grew to my curiosity was piqued by representing 20 of these cases as individual refugee yeah. claimants. And so I learned about them and, and their, their marginalized circumstances through doing those individual cases. And then I got the rare chance to be offered an opportunity to go with a tribal elder and to travel widely uh, at the great invitation of uh, all the leaders, the elected leaders, the tribal elders and so forth. And uh, that, that really convinced me that uh, I should do something about it. Mm -hmm. And so I came back here, went on a speaking tour across Canada and tried to solicit interest and support, which came very quickly. And that's how it started. That's amazing. How do you have time to be a lawyer and do this? <laughs> it takes a lot of time, but, but when you're passionate about anything, you'll do it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true cool. of any one of us in this room. Yeah. No, that's true. So with this amazing event that's coming up, how can everybody get tickets and, and donate? Well, I have tickets. You can go online on our website. I brought tickets with me. Uh, and what's the website? Uh, the www.cangofr.com, uh, .ca, I think. Yeah. And um, yeah, just go on the website. You'll see, the people will see our projects. People will have an opportunity to see some great videos, some great photographs that we've taken over the years. Um, it's they're very fascinating, resourceful, charming, wonderful people that just need a better chance, a better opportunity than they what they've received yeah, so far. That's yeah. awesome. You're making up a whole feast here. Are yeah, you staying? Are you staying the whole show? Yeah, what is this, darling? <laughs> This is yogurt. Oh, yogurt. Homemade yogurt. Uh, wow. We, we make it. This is yogurt. Holy we cow. eat it I mean with the bread. Are we going to do cooties? Uh, uh, yeah, I already have cooties, so I can't really. It's not oh. like I can get any more cooties. That's lovely. You want to try? I will. I'll put that there. Promise. Uh, awesome. We are looking forward to this event happening this Sunday at the Centurion Center, as yes. you're saying. Yes. Uh, more details, you can find them at uh, cangoupbar.ca. Simple as that. Warren and uh, Aisha, are you going to leave all this food for us or what? Yeah. No pressure. We can have no it. Pressure. Pressure. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, look, thank you so much for coming in and thank you for not uh, attacking me with the. Because that, that's. You've been very generous and kind. I would Aww. never do that. <laughs> Thanks for having that's us. A, Aisha and I are very thank pleased. You that very thank you very much. You. Thank you very much. Coming up on daytime, how about this? Uh, Betterful is here. If you want to rebrand your charity, uh, Megan will be chatting about that next on Daytime Ottawa.